I kill you with truth. Uh, five minute react to the Nuggets losing to the Kings. Final score 123 to 117. Uh, to, to sum this game up, the Nuggets with Reggie Jackson had a wide open three with less than a minute to go that would have cut the game to one point. He misses a wide open three. The Kings take it back the other way. And uh, Fox drills. I think it was Fox drills another three. Let's just talk about De'Aaron Fox. Uh, he was unbelievable. He was 10 of, well, I mean, he had 26 points, 16 assists, three of six from three. I mean, you know, unbelievable. I should be careful how I use the word unbelievable. So if we're going to talk about unbelievable, <laughs> if I'm going to say the the, the word unbelievable, uh, guess who I got to really talk about? And that's Nikola Jokic with another gargantuan triple-double today. 36, 13, 14. You know, again, it's kind of interesting, though. 50% from the field, 1 for 4 from 3, 9 of 12 from uh, the free throw line. Yeah, It is so odd to talk about how great Jokic is with, with room to say it could have even been a little bit better. But the... The Nuggets were so bad from three point uh, beyond uh, three point line. They were, I think, 0 for 9 in the first half. Th they hit a couple later on, and Reggie Jackson remains. I think Reggie Jackson's been tremendous. He had 20 points tonight, eight assists. But look at Jokic, okay? He played for 38 minutes, 36 points, 13 rebounds, 14 assists, zero turnovers. He has two games with 30-point triple-double and zero turnovers in the last four days. Nobody else has had multiple 30-point triple-doubles with zero turnovers over the last 40 years. So Nikola Jokic, who already was the best player in the month of November, as the defending NBA Finals champion has started December doing something that nobody's done in 40 years. And he could have played better, which is bananas. Uh, um, DeAndre Jordan, you know. He just, I don't know, just ain't his thing, really, to be honest with you. I mean, they probably max him out the most that he can, but I don't know. It's You got to get some contributions from Zeke Naji. Sorry, I had a little thing there. You got to get some contributions from Zeke Naji. You just, I, I love DeAndre Jordan. He's had a couple of interesting games. This wasn't one of them. He was a defensive liability. He did really nothing offensively. He had four rebounds, four points in 10 minutes. I mean, I guess it's okay. Um, I'm just looking at the bench. Christian Brown was fine. Five of 10, one for two for three, 11 points. That's all right. Not much out of Strother. Uh, You know, I, I think the, the Nuggets and Michael Porter Jr., not good on back-to-backs. He's okay. I mean, one of five from three, six of 12 on the night for 13 points. Listen, man, the, the Nuggets shot six of 25 from three, which is pretty good considering they did not hit a three-pointer in the first half. The body language and everything I saw in this one was, this is a stupid schedule. This was a dumb sort of game on the schedule. They hung in there. They had a shot. They were pretty damn close. It was great to see Aaron Gordon back. Aaron Gordon on his return, uh, 33 minutes, 17 points. The last game he played, he was 0 for 12. He was 8 of 13. So this was actually a really good game for AG, although he was minus 11. But overall, this was a good bounce back game for, um, for Aaron Gordon. But these games are just dumb. The schedule is dumb. 
The Nuggets now, I hope, will take two days just off on Sunday and Monday. Off. Just take it off. Relax. Chill out. They're, they're coming back to Denver because they have to fly to L.A. Now, I guess you could just stay in California. But yeah, they're coming back. They're resting at home, which is exactly what they should do. And um, and then, then we'll see you Wednesday against the Clippers. And, you know, these are the games, the Clippers and Houston, again, that you have to play because you didn't make the in-season tournament. It's like, like punishment to, to play the Clippers and the Rockets again. It's getting boring playing the Clippers and the Rockets. And you beat the Clippers without anybody. So hopefully you can go back there to LA and, um, and see what's up. And then the Rockets are like the worst road team in America. So hopefully you take care of business there. So you would hope there's a, a quick bounce back from this particular loss. I would expect there to be one. So not freaking out. I thought they were going to lose this game all along. Kings are a good team. They are. They're not as good as the Nuggets, but they're a good team. They are. They should have won this, and they did. And they're annoying because they talk about lighting the light. They have some sort of light out the top of their building, and the crowd gets all excited to beat a Nuggets team that was playing five games in seven nights. Calm down, Kings fans. I know there's not a lot going on in Sacramento. That's, that's the truth.